Embarking on a weight loss journey is nothing short of an adventure, an exploration into the varied and vast world of foods and diets, where we navigate through different cuisines, nutritional advice, and countless food items, trying to discern the best path to achieve our desired fitness goals. One popular approach that has garnered significant attention over the past few years is the low-carb diet, a regimen that limits carbohydrate intake, emphasizing proteins and fats as primary sources of energy. But hold on tight, because today, we're diving deep into a topic that might shake your low-carb world. The 15 worst low-carb foods that might not be as beneficial for weight loss as you may think, backed by scientific studies. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Picture this. You're strolling down the supermarket aisles, your cart loaded with low-carb foods, each one seemingly a ticket to your weight loss destination. But spoiler alert, not all low-carb foods are created equal in the realm of shedding those extra pounds. Science, our trusty guide through the meandering pathways of diet and nutrition, illuminates that some of these foods might be clandestine culprits, subtly sabotaging your weight loss endeavors. Beginning our journey with the 15th culprit on our list, low-carb snack bars. These seemingly innocent, convenient, and ostensibly healthy snacks can sometimes be laden with artificial sweeteners and other synthetic ingredients to compensate for the lack of sugar and fat, which could be deleterious to our health. A study published in the journal Obesity in 2013 found that artificial sweeteners could disrupt metabolic processes, potentially leading to increased fat accumulation and weight gain. Moreover, these bars might not be as satiating as whole foods, which could lead you to consume more calories throughout the day, obfuscating your weight loss journey. Moving on, let's talk about processed meats, which often find a place in low-carb diets due to their minimal carbohydrate content. However, not all is as it seems in the world of deli slices and sausages. Research published in the International Journal of Epidemiology in 2018 highlighted a correlation between processed meat consumption and an increased risk of mortality and cardiovascular diseases. The high levels of sodium and preservatives in processed meats could potentially offset the benefits derived from their low carbohydrate content. Let's traverse further into the realm of dairy where not all products are your allies in the battle against the bulge. Low-fat dairy products, though ostensibly healthy, might not be the champions of weight loss we perceive them to be. A research study conducted in 2016, published in the journal Circulation, associated high consumption of low-fat dairy products with a modest increase in the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. Furthermore, when fat is removed from dairy, it's often replaced with sugars or other carbohydrate-based substances, potentially impeding your low-carb intentions. Next, let's delve into the world of soy products, such as tofu and tempeh, which are often heralded as low-carb, protein-rich foods. While soy can be a fantastic source of protein, especially for those adhering to a vegetarian or vegan diet, it's essential to note that not all soy products are created equal. Some studies, including one published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2011, have suggested that excessive consumption of soy might be linked to an increased risk of breast cancer, owing to the phytoestrogens, plant compounds that can mimic estrogen, present in soy. This demonstrates the necessity of consuming soy in moderation and ensuring that it doesn't dominate the protein source in your diet. The bustling world of beverages isn't exempt from our exploration either. Diet sodas, despite being low in carbohydrates and calories, might not be your best companion on your weight loss journey. A study published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society in 2015 found that over a nine-year period, diet soda consumers experienced a significant increase in waist circumference compared to non-consumers. The artificial sweeteners used in diet sodas could potentially meddle with metabolic processes, leading to an accumulation of belly fat, thereby contradicting their ostensibly weight-friendly nature. Navigating further, we encounter sugar-free candies and desserts, which, while seeming like a guilt-free indulgence, might be stealthy adversaries in disguise. Though devoid of sugar, these sweet treats often contain sugar alcohols, which can cause digestive issues like bloating and gastrointestinal discomfort when consumed in large amounts, as per a study published in the International Journal of Dentistry in 2016. Moreover, these artificially sweetened delights might also encourage sugar cravings, steering you off your dedicated path toward weight loss. Our exploration doesn't stop here, 
as we approach the domain of fruits, where dried fruits, though naturally sweet and often considered healthy, might not be the optimal choice for a low-carb diet. Though they are nutrient-dense, dried fruits are also high in sugar and calories, and their dehydrated nature makes it easy to consume them in large quantities, inadvertently amplifying your caloric intake. The next item on our list might come as a surprise, nuts. While they are undeniably nutritious and a staple in many low-carb diets, nuts are also incredibly calorie-dense. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2007 highlighted that the caloric intake from nuts might not align with the energy expenditure they provide, making it easy to consume them in excess and potentially impede your weight loss efforts. Navigating the landscape of vegetables, we find that not all veggies are created equal when it comes to low-carb diets. Starchy vegetables like potatoes, peas, and corn, though packed with nutritional value, are also high in carbohydrates, which could disrupt your low-carb diet and potentially hinder your weight loss efforts. And now, as we approach the end of our journey, we unveil the number one culprit, low-carb baked goods. Though they claim to be low in carbohydrates, these products often contain refined flour and sugars that can spike your blood sugar levels, potentially leading to weight gain. Moreover, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition in 2009 indicated that individuals who consumed low-carb, high-fat diets experienced a decrease in cognitive performance. Thus, it's vital to approach low-carb baked goods with caution, ensuring they don't derail your weight loss journey. In conclusion, our adventure through the multifaceted world of low-carb foods unveils that despite the prevalent belief that low-carb automatically equals weight loss, the reality is far more complex and nuanced. The scientific studies embedded in our exploration emphasize the importance of mindful consumption, even in the realm of low-carb foods, ensuring that each item we consume propels us toward our weight loss goals, rather than covertly hindering our progress. Navigating the intricate tapestry of nutrition, it's paramount to approach every food item with curiosity and scrutiny, ensuring that it aligns with our dietary goals and contributes positively to our health and well-being. And remember, the journey of diet and nutrition is uniquely personal, and what works splendidly for one might not be optimal for another. Thus, forge your path with mindfulness and knowledge, ensuring that every step you take is a stride toward achieving your desired health and fitness aspirations.